New slam abuse? Check. Tanky, hardcore, viable, thick dad? Check. Fiery balls of fury? Checkity check. In preparation for the upcoming Harvest League, here are my top three speculative starters. Welcome, it's your friendly neighbourhood Badger here, and I'm back with some juicy recommendations for you lovely exiles as we all prepare for Farmville 3 Rayclast Edition. Right off the bat, I would like to state that obviously patch notes aren't out yet, but these three starters introduced here today are almost guaranteed not to be nerfed in the upcoming 3.11 Harvest League patch. If there are any changes, each individual build guide released over the next week and a half will have updates reflected in the paste bins and descriptions. Here today, we are merely introducing our three contenders for what I believe to be insanely strong, easy and straightforward league starters, on which detailed build guides will be released during the subsequent hype days. To choose these builds, I did a poll on the community section of YouTube. I created a meme option at the end, which of course ended up scoring the most amount of votes, but I had to make an executive decision to disqualify the cast on crit Moonbender's wing assassin, as we have no idea if the rarity of this newly updated weapon has been increased. So sorry, lightning warping mega powerhouse assassin, you're out of here. Introducing the Quakener, a bleed earthquake gladiator. Sentinel King Kong, a Herald of Purity and Agony Juggernaut, which is a hardcore inspired version of my ever popular Sentinel Queen build. And the Baller of Fury, my take on the consistently powerful Spellslinger Volatile Dead Necromancer. These builds, though chosen by you, the community, all fit specific niches in Path of Exile. The All-Rounder, the Atlas Pusher, and the Speed Clearer. In this short video, let's just go over the strengths and weaknesses of each build with the patented Badger Scale. However, before we continue, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and make sure that that little bell is on, otherwise you might miss the upcoming detailed build guides. Trust me, they're going to be filled with a lot more puns than this one is. Alright, you ready? Let's go. First off, we have the Quakener. This bleed earthquake gladiator is, for the most part, a powerhouse of all content, and likely will be improved immensely with the upcoming changes to slam skills, which earthquake will be classified under. This, coupled with the new support Fist of War to buff hit damage, and the new Warcry Seismic Cry to supplement this, the Quakener can imply insanely deadly bleeds in a massive area of effect. This build is extremely easy to get going as a league starter, not requiring any uniques whatsoever, but just make sure you're keeping on top of upgrading your weapon at every stage of the game. The Quakener can be played either two-handed for mega damage, or one-handed with a shield for an insane survivability and maximum block. The latter is a perfect hardcore starting build. On the Badger scale, the Quakener scores 4 out of 5 Badgers for clear, 4.5 out of 5 Badgers for bossing, 3.5 out of 5 Badgers for survivability, or 4.5 out of 5 if you're using one handed and shield, 4 out of 5 Badgers for budget, and 4 out of 5 Badgers for noob friendliness. The next in order of builds is the Sentinel King Kong. This strange yet surprisingly powerful Herald of Purity Juggernaut is what you would call an Atlas Pusher, great at destroying all bosses in the game while keeping very safe. Specifically designed for bossing, the Sentinel King Kong is agile, mobile and extremely tanky, while still outputting very respectable damage through the Sentinels of Purity. Recommended for those who have a bit of a grip on the endgame already, this build can put your knowledge in the hands of an immovable brick. Though keep in mind there are a few specific requirements to really get this one going strong. This thick jug can make a very good use of the new keystone Transcendence. Without going too deep into this, it's going to be very overpowered, and will be explored in the full build guide. On the Badger scale, the Sentinel King Kong scores 2.5 out of 5 Badgers for clear, 5 out of 5 badges for bossing, 4.5 out of 5 badges for survivability, 3 out of 5 badges for budget, and 3 out of 5 badges for noob friendliness. And lastly, we come to the Bowler of Fury. Though a well-known build, I couldn't pass up making my own build guide for this spell-slinging volatile dead necromancer. With most additions coming to 3.11 focusing on melee and nerfing things like Archmage and Herald stacking, this consistent map clearer is almost guaranteed not to be nerfed, and is a force to be reckoned with in getting your currency pool stacking up quicker than you can say, why is this build so easy? 
Spell slinging can be extremely easy to get going, but requires a small understanding of the mechanic, which will be explained in the full build guide. Plus, to get the build to the next level, you're going to need to grind for the trigger a socketed spell on attack syndicate craft, but through your zoom zoom speed of this build that won't be too much of a problem. Though the damage does tend to fall off late game against bosses without proper investment, the clear more than makes up for it. With the nerfs to the passive playstyle of brands, this could even take the cake of the fastest league starter. On the badger scale, Baller of Fury scores 5 out of 5 badges for clear, 3 out of 5 badges for bossing, 3.5 out of 5 badges for survivability, 4 out of 5 badges for budget, and 4 out of 5 badges for noob friendliness. Well, that's it for the introduction for my three speculative starters in the upcoming 3.11 Harvest League. What build are you most excited for? Or have you got any other builds planned? Let me know below in the comments. Well, I gotta get back to making videos, so I'm gonna go. But until next time, Badger, out.